we're blessed with many, many stories. A lot of them are very, very personal. You know, what borrowers are doing with the money. You know, we've had examples of um, individuals life dream of being in a rally in Otago to going to a sporting event or sending their kids to a sporting event o overseas. That's a borrower example. One of the things, one of the stories that really hit home to us here at Harmony was a retired teacher um, who thanked Harmony because he was using the Harmony platform to teach his grandchildren, his nephews, his nieces about risk and reward on both sides, looking at borrower stories and what they were borrowing for and what their demographic was, as well as using the 30 risk grades that we have and the different risk and rewards. Okay, we're a, uh, an online platform and uh, what makes our business work is automation. That requires really smart engineers. So we have um, mid and back office, if you like, uh, systems engineers uh, that are making sure that our, you know, our uh, platform's robust and it's safe. Uh, we have um, uh, front-end engineers that are making sure that the interaction between us as humans and our software is really working well. Um, and then we have the, the guts of our business where you've got the data scientists and the mathematicians that are looking at holistically how are we operating and how are we, um, you know, from a numeric point of view, you know, how are we engaging with the Harmony service both on a, a, a lender side and, and on the on the borrower side, complete with some great product people that kind of bring that glue together and make sure that we are listening to our customer and that we're building what customer wants. Well, we live in very excited times and um, the technology is in fact disrupting uh, New Zealand and the way that we do business and across the world. And a good example of that would be Uber or Airbnb. And I think the important thing to note there is it's not the technology that's really causing the disruption, it's consumers flocking to the better service that, that it provides. It's, it's consumers actually embracing uh, what is in many cases a 10 times better service and doing so in such numbers that that's causing the disruption. So there's two key reasons why the FMA gave Harmony the very first peer-to-peer -peer lending license ever awarded. And I think the, the first one is around the team. So at our core, our team has been together since 2002. We've done three projects, one here in New Zealand in Auckland and the other in Sydney. Um, and all of those projects have been based in and around either consumer or SME lending. So deep, deep domain knowledge in credit, in fraud, data analysis, in creating a platform, in starting a, a platform from scratch and, and, and growing it. Um, and I think the, the second is just the, the work and the thought that the team put into that license application, uh, which was almost a year and a half uh, of, of work uh, that went into that bef before we actually put the license application in. We were certainly commended by the Financial Markets Authority for the quality of our license application and um, you know we, we certainly hit the standard uh, to get awarded the very first license in, in July 14. At the very heart of Harmony's model and in fact of peer-to-peer -peer has been open and transparent with data and information every month. We publish a whole series of statistics um, for anybody to see, for our stakeholders, regulators, for the industry to see how well we've done in terms of our lending volume, how well our credit's performing, right down to 30 grades, you know, how we've got new and repeat customers and a whole lot of other statistics, as well as a whole series of disclosures and education and tips in terms of how to um, invest uh, in lending in our, in our platform. What advice would I have for others following in the footsteps of um, disrupting a new vertical using technology? Um, number one, know it's going to be hard. Expect it. And uh, when you think of what is hard, maybe lift the volume up, up on that. It is extremely difficult to do. Um, and it is, number two is, you know, business is, is not perhaps meant to be personal, but startups must be. They must be passionate. You must care about what you're doing because that, that, that and that alone gets you through some of the tougher times. Um, and number three, really think it through and think it through before you've got a really big cash burn. Really try to plan it well. Um, but number four is don't over plan it. At some point you have to just give it a go and number five is have some fun along the way.